reasoning tests do not basically assess your knowledge per se, but rather they assess your non-verbal reasoning skills. So logical reasoning is basically a broad spectrum that covers spatial reasoning, abstract reasoning, and also inductive reasoning. And we will look at those kind of questions within this tutorial. Now, the purpose of these types of tests is to see how you identify and evaluate different patterns and relationships between different shapes. Now, logical reasoning tests covers different kind of cube nets, and we will look at that kind of question in a second. Completing sequences of shapes, looking for identical shapes within sequences, you have to connect shapes together and you also have to look for rotations of shapes. So there's quite a broad spectrum of different questions that you will encounter. So let's start looking at some kind of different types of logical reasoning tests. So this question is, which cube can be made from the net? That is the net and we have to decide which one, when it's made up, forms A, B, C or D. Now for this type of question, you need to imagine that you are building the cube from the net. So the net has shapes on it. So you will see here on the net that there are four black circles, there's a grey circle and a white circle. So we have to imagine folding down the creases in order to make the cube and then we need to work out where each shape will be positioned from the options available of A, B, C or D. So my advice is to choose one particular area of the net and in this particular aspect I'm going to choose that grey circle. And then if I look around it, I can see it's surrounded by black circles. And I can immediately answer this question really quickly by following that process, because the only one that has the grey circle that is surrounded by black circles is D. So my answer would be straight away D. So my point is, when tackling these kind of questions, is to focus on one particular area of the net. I mean, you could focus, if you wanted to, on the white circle, and then have a look for corresponding shapes or colours of shapes around it and either eliminate incorrect answers or just choose straight away the correct answer. So let's have a go yourself. Now it's your turn to have a go at a logical reasoning test question. So put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video and we will come on here each day and mark them for you. Now I have created a timer for you on the right hand side. That gives you round about 15 seconds to answer the question, which is quite tough, I will admit. If you find you need more time to answer the question, please do pause the video. It's important that you try this and get it correct. So which cube from A, B, C or D can be made from the net? Here's the timer. OK, well done. Don't forget to put your answer in the comments section below the video. Now, what I would like to do is try a similar logical reasoning test question, but let's make it a little bit harder this time. So which cube can be made from this net? So again, don't just look at the whole net and try and create a cube from it. Just focus on one particular aspect or a couple of aspects of the net to make the cube. So in this particular part, I'm going to look at that part there. So we can see that we've got that square with those particular shapes and the one above it. Now straight away, I can see that A is a match for that part, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct answer. We would then need to look at another aspect of the net, and I will look at that one there, and then if I join it up with that part, when the, the actual net is made up, A is actually the correct answer. Now, if I was working through these and going along, I might find that A isn't the correct answer. And therefore, I would eliminate that until I actually reach the correct answer. So the correct answer for three is A. So now it's your turn to have a go at another one. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. So there's the timer. Question four, which cube can be made from that net? Here's the timer. Put your answer in the comments section below, please. Thank you. OK, next question. Let's move on to a different type of logical reasoning test question this time. So question five, which answer option completes the sequence? So we now have a sequence across the top. We have some rotating arrows. 
So we have to look at that one, that one, that one, that one, and decide from the answer options of A, B, C, D, or E, which one goes there. Now, this is the way to answer it. Identify any pattern or trend in the sequence. So I can identify a pattern there where the arrows are all pointing clockwise. So they're all going clockwise, all of them. So from my point of view, if I looked at the answer options, any that were going anti-clockwise or counterclockwise, I would eliminate straight away. And the second part, step two, is the number of arrow shapes within each square actually increases by one each time. So if we look there, we've got one arrow going clockwise, then we've got two which are both going clockwise, three clockwise, four clockwise, so there would need to be all arrows, five of them going clockwise, and the only option from A, B, C, D or E is E. So you can see there that there are five all rotating clockwise, so the correct answer is E. So again, it's just identifying any patterns or trends, in this case it's arrows going clockwise, and step two you can see that it's increasing by one each time until we get to five. So it's just about remaining calm when you're looking at these questions and looking for a, um, a pattern or a trend and either eliminating incorrect answers or just going straight away for the correct one. So now it's your turn to have another go. Please put your answer to question six in the comments section below the video for marking. Again, you have a timer. Now I've given you a little bit longer here because I think it's a little bit tougher. But I've given you 20 seconds to answer this question. So which answer option completes the sequence from A, B, C, D, or E? Here's the timer. Okay, well done. So hopefully you managed to see what's going on there with the sequence, okay, how it's developing. Like I say, if you need more time,